Good morning. <laughs> How is everyone? Good. I saw some just beautiful moments coming in. We've, even before church started, I saw some ladies exchanging some shoes, just doing a beautiful bling exchange. She's looking lovely with her shoes. I know I won't embarrass and say who it was, but it just ministered to me even before church started, just the way you love on each other. And so thank you for that. Um, this morning, I just want to ask a question. Has anyone had an opportunity this week to get weary? <laughs> yeah, not alone? Okay, so this morning Jesus really wanted to minister to all of us and, and just I believe his heart was that he wanted to um, minister to our soul, which we've just been singing about, we give you our soul. He wants to minister the weariness that has tried to come into our soul. And so um, it's no surprise that he probably wanted me to mi talk about it because with four daughters and working a lot of the time, I have plenty of opportunities to get weary. And um, last year when I started work, he actually gave me this scripture in um, Matthew, and I'll, I'll just read it. It says, Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your, for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And it actually took me, even though that's an amazing scripture, it took me probably a year to say, oh, that's an invitation. I actually, he's telling me to come, to sit with him and to abide in him, to take that time out. And I used to hear it come up in my spirit, come to me. And I think, yeah, that's a good scripture, come. And I just keep filing the undies in the drawers and just keep doing my daily job. And one day it actually was like, I need to stop and I need to come. And from that point when I've, I've been obedient and started to abide in him and take that time out, he's been so faithful to lead me through it and get even more of an understanding of what happens when I come to him and what's going on in that moment. And as I come and rest him, it says that, he says, I've actually got to take something from him. He says, take, upon, um, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. So there's actually an exchange going on. I'm coming to him with my weariness, my burdens, everything that's trying to weigh, get in on me, and he's going to take it. So it's like sometimes that's not, it's easier said than done. It sounds good, but you've actually got to come in faith, trusting that he will actually take it. Doesn't matter what it is, what it is that's oppressing you in your heart, what it is that's either in there that needs to get out or is trying to get in there. So there's a, it, it, they call it the faith grace exchange. So as you come and in faith you lift it up, you're literally giving it to Him. There's an exchange that takes place and He's giving us His grace. And, and there has been moments in that where sometimes that exchange to me has just been help. I'm, I'm at my limit, just help. Okay, and in that, it starts to flow and the soul starts to lift up more stuff and it more. And I'm, I kid you not, doing this exchange, there's never been a time that I've gone away and thought, well, I feel more bladen, burdened. I actually do physically feel lighter in my soul. I, it is just so awesome when he does that. Um, yeah, so today, um, taking communion, um, of course, this is an exchange today, okay? And we know the exchange. We, we know the, Isaiah talks about the, the, the Jesus coming and he was going to take our wounds for us. And it, it actually, I found this amazing verse in um, Isaiah at the end. It says that after the suffering of his soul, um, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. And it sounded, I've only just come across that. I'm like, that sounds quite strange to me. What is this light of life? But Jesus was saying that, as I was prophesying, sorry, that Jesus would see us exchanging today that suffering of his soul. And he'd be glad because he'd see the light of life coming out of you. Light. And it was just, um, yeah, I'm still like, it was awesome. So there's some particular things as we take communion. I just want us to take some time in our soul and, and let us exchange with Jesus. He's here to minister and take some of those burdens off us. He's going to put a song on. It's by Casting Crowns and um, it's by the, this, the lead singer Mark Hall. And he's just talking into his soul when he found out he was going to have, he had cancer. And he didn't, he's like, okay. It just came that time where he had to start exchanging. He couldn't carry the burden of cancer. He had to start exchanging with Jesus and lifting it all up. So as that song's playing, I just encourage you, Jesus saw you today and 
was going to be pleased that he's suffered in his soul so you could have the light of life. So there's, there's nothing you can't exchange with him today at this time. So just um, before we do that, I'm going to pray. And um, there's some particular things that I believe Jesus has anointed to break in people's lives today as this exchange takes place. One of them, as I've mentioned, is weariness. So that may either be in your soul or it might be coming to oppress your soul. But I want to pray for that today. Another thing is in relationships, a weariness against marriages. That's something that he tries to bring and, and just really wear out marriages and relationships. So I just want to pray specifically for that. Also, there was um, just an anointing in, uh, again, this is the Holy Spirit revealing what he wants to pray and stand against. It's not something, I don't know these people specifically, because the Holy Spirit, I believe, is a gentleman. He doesn't tell me names, but there's just a weariness in believing for a family, even wanting to step out and have a family, and there's been a weariness in that. So um, we're just going to pray, and then um, Abby's going to start the song and just spend some time communing with Jesus. <sighs> yeah, Lord, we just, um, we thank you now, Lord, that um, we come and exchange, Lord, we come and take you at your word. And your word says that by faith, through grace, right now, we exchange weariness. We give you this weariness. We bind the power of Satan to take, come and steal, kill and destroy. Weariness, you get off their souls in Jesus' Name. You have no place here. Go back to the gates of hell. Where there has been weariness in marriages, we bind you in the Name of Jesus. You cannot come and wear out marriages that are ordained and set before God. Where there has been weariness in believing for a family. Lord, we just bind that weariness in Jesus' name and we thank you that you come to give and be the light of life in that situation, to bring life. We just loose, Lord, your blessing over that, that whoever they are, Lord, to bless them and to increase them. Lord, we just thank you for your children. Lord, we thank you for, for you and we just commune with you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my soul. Oh